today. Um, so I'm going to be coming on here off and on live through different steps, but I just want to show you what I started now. Um, I just went through with my gloves and I took out all of the grease stuff that was down in the bottom of the grill. I took out all the grease. They're just in the house right now. Um, and I was getting started. All I did was put two little pumps of dish soap, H2O at home dish soap in here. And I'm just working with the heavy duty microfiber right now. You can see how it's already getting dirty. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to clean the inside of the grill with the heavy duty microfiber first and see how that, how clean that gets it. And then depending on what happens, I might hit it with a clay. So I'm going to work on this for just a few minutes here with you guys live, and then I'll come back on when I'm ready to start the clay. So you just want to make sure you have a wet microfiber, and then you just clean. You can see here's a lot of grease spots, so just scrubbing that takes it off with the microfiber. Over here too, you can see really well. I probably could clean this whole grill with just this heavy duty microfiber. So it's taking all that grease off of there. Down in here. Yeah, right there you can just see hardly any scrubbing and all that grease is just coming off right onto the microfiber. And I'm not really even scrubbing that hard. So if you think about it right now, I probably would have gotten oven cleaner and sprayed that in here. And we know how dangerous oven cleaner is for the environment. And all I'm using is a microfiber and some soap, some H2O at home dish soap. That's it. And you can see it's just taking all the grease off the grill, the inside of the grill, so what I'm working on right now, which is pretty, pretty nasty, to be honest. I guess that's what happens when the wife isn't the grill master. The grill never gets clean. All right, so I'm going to continue with this. You guys don't need to necessarily, wow, that's really taking that off right there. Um, you don't necessarily need to watch me clean this whole inside of the grill, um, but once I feel like the heavy duty microfiber has done enough work itself, then I am gonna jump back on live again and show you where I got to with just the heavy duty microfiber and the soap. And then I'll let you know if I think I need to use the cleaning clay and we'll go over that safe area here um, with my heavy duty chiffonette. And you can see nice and gross right now, which is awesome. Okay, it took all of that grease off, it's on here, but don't worry about it, we can clean this off, no problem. My next step is I'm gonna use the cleaning clay. So you have your sponge that comes with the cleaning clay. I have a little bit of water here. All I'm gonna do is wring out this sponge put it in the clay. And I just want to move it around enough that I can start to see that it's getting sudsy. Okay, because these little bit of suds will go a long way. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start, hmm, what is the best spot for you guys to see? I guess I'll start over here in this corner because there's still a lot of grease. And I'm just going to scrub with the clay. And you can see how it's sudsing up from just that little bit of clay that I put on. You can see how I'm starting like with the least uh, amount of like stuff. So I started with the heavy duty microfiber and now I'm going to the next toughest thing, which is the cleaning clay. And we all know that clay is uh, organic material, so it will naturally break down food and enzymes and paint. And this isn't any special sponge, it's just a regular um, plastic sponge. And then I'm just going to go back in the water here for a minute to rinse my sponge off a little bit, get a little more clay, because I want to show you guys the top here before I shut it down and um, keep working. So up here, you can see how it's already starting to take away that black spot. Already getting back to that silver color underneath, taking all that grease off. Add a little more water here to keep it moving. A little more clay. All right, let's take our heavy duty microfiber and see 
how much of that got off of there in just that short amount of time. So I'm gonna take my heavy duty to wipe off the clay. And let me rinse and wipe the inside here for you guys. So there you can see just those couple minutes of me scrubbing um, how much it took this dark spot off of here and it also broke down the grease in here. I would want to rinse my heavy duty microfiber again just because I can see it's still getting black from what the clay took off. Um, but I'm going to continue working on this and then I'll be back on to show you actually what it does with the stainless on the outside. All right, this looks awesome. If I had some more time and felt like doing the whole entire thing, I would. Um, but this is all pretty much cleaned out. There's hardly any grease in here anymore. These look awesome. I can't believe they actually got that clean. Um, but now we're going to take a look at the outside and go over how you can continue to use the um, cleaning clay for exterior for your stainless. So I still have my sponge. You can see it's getting nice and dirty, which is no big deal, right? Because that's what it's for. It's to clean with. I'm just going to get a little bit of water on it and then just back into the clay. So H2O at home also offers the next level of cleaning clay. So you have your cleaning clay, which you can use pretty much for anything. Um, but then we also have something that's called scouring paste. You can get it in a big tub like the cleaning clay. Um, and then they also have like mini sample containers too, which I like to use because it's nice and small. Um, but if I wanted to like clean this even more, I could get into the scouring clay and it might do a little bit better of a job. But I just know that my husband's going to keep this grill a mess all the time. So it just needs to be clean enough for me. And that's what I'm working on right now. So I just have the cleaning clay with my sponge. And all I'm going to do is apply the clay on the outside. Got a little bit more water on here. And you can see how it's cleaning it, taking all the grease, the pollen from sitting outside on our porch. I can see that coming right off of here. Okay, um, all right, I'll just finish this first, then I'll show the next part. So here there's some stubborn spots, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water and I'm going to get some more clay here. I'm actually going to lift this up a little bit to scrub that and you can see where that burnt on spot was, hopefully. The clay is taking all of that off. And so then I'm just going to go through with my heavy duty microfiber again. It's pretty raunch dog by now. It's pretty gross. Um, but I'm just going to wipe off the clay. You can see how that just cleaned up that stainless. Really nice. Clean the handle here, get that grease off. So with the cleaning clay, if you're not a fan of like using the sponge or you think um, using a sponge in one area and then going to another area, you could sanitize it in between with the all-purpose cleanser. Um, what I'm probably going to do with my sponge and my um, heavy-duty microfiber when I'm finished with this is actually put it in an OxyPure soap. So OxyPure is another stain remover. Um, if you were reading the thread the other day about uh, laundry, um, I think it was Jennifer that asked about taking stains out of carpet. So OxyPure is what I use um, to put in a steam bath and take the stains out of my carpet. But OxyPure is nice because you can mix it for, with whatever you're trying to clean. So I could mix it with just a little bit of water and make a paste and clean something like the grill if I wanted to. Or I could mix it with more water, it has recommended amount, make it into a spray. And that's something that you could like spot clean your clothes with before you put in the washing machine. Or you could just do a soap in your sink, which is what I am going to do with items um, to get them back to clean. So I'm going to do this part here and then I'm going to show you the other side as well. Actually, I should go in and change my water is getting pretty dirty too but i want to show this side first so i'm wondering if you guys can see i have to adjust it a little bit so i'm going to show you over here on this side there's some like burnt on stains um on the stainless so i'm just going to do the same thing with the clay now i know this is going to take a little bit more elbow grease to get some of these spots off but it's pretty amazing that's something that's non-toxic okay if i wanted to i could clean this in my garage with the door shut because it doesn't smell bad it actually has a nice scent to it and the scouring paste the stronger of the two has a really nice, really, really nice scent to it that I like. And most times when you're like doing stainless, they're like, you have to go with the green. With the cleaning clay, you don't have to go with the green. It's not going to scratch anything. Um, clay buffs. 
but like with anything, you always want to spot check um, your products on a small area before you start working with them. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Maybe I will use this scouring clay, which will be pretty cool because then you guys could see how that works also. So let's take our heavy duty microfiber again. Actually, I should go in and rinse this. It's getting pretty dirty. So I'm going to go through, wipe that off. You can see it took off that circular rust stain that was on there before. All right, let's see if we can get some of these other spots off with our scouring clay. So I'm going to open this up. Scouring clay, you do the same thing. You're just going to get your sponge a little wet, dip it into the clay. And then you're just going to come over here, rub it off. Oh yeah, already working that off. It's amazing. I just can't get over how something that's non-toxic, okay, it's certified by European companies, which have the higher standards. Okay, United States really, when it comes to cleaning products, doesn't pay much attention to the safety. So to have that eco-certified is awesome. How well it works is just crazy, 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 crazy. So like I said before, it's best to always start with like the least invasive, I want to say, product, and then work your way up. So you could see how I tried to clean this with a cleaning clay first. I actually could have tried the all-purpose glove or the heavy-duty microfiber, but my mic microfiber is like super nasty right now from wiping out the grill initially. So I went to the clay first, which is fine. And then when that didn't get it exactly how I wanted it to be, I went to the scouring clay. So let's see what the scouring clay did. See if I'm going to be satisfied with that. River, stop barking. It's probably people coming down the river. Wondering why this crazy lady up here is talking to herself. So there you go. You can see it took even more of those spots off. And like I said, I really need to go clean my microfiber um, so that I can get this through spot free because I pretty much cleaned the entire grill with it and the clay and the sponge. And that's about it. So really, I didn't have to get any pressure washer out. I didn't have to have any harsh chemicals. Um, I used the clean.